Depot Center. And we're here really early because it doesn't really start till 4.30. Tiesta doesn't even come out until like 8.30. We're in Cali, we're expecting the best concert ever, so let's see what he's got in for us. Let's go film Kelly. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning. We're not usually up at this time. Well, if we are, we didn't just wake up. Yeah, we're going to LA for a radio interview with uh, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> the greatest DJ in the world is sitting in front of us. Tiesto, welcome. It's yeah. good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I mean, there is a really huge event going on this weekend. It's a show he's putting on at the Home Depot Center. 26,000 people are going to see him. DJ, West Covina, go ahead, Sully, you're on with us. Do you still get nervous? Uh, yeah, I still get nervous, especially for the one on Saturday oh. because it's, uh, you know, it's such a big show and so many people uh, expect a lot from the show. So I'm a little nervous for it, but uh, I'm more like excited, you know. Well, this is going to be a big event, the Home Depot Center. It's, uh, they are saying it's the largest single DJ event in U.S. history. So if you want to go down, have some fun, pull a hamstring, <laughs> Tiesto <laughs> is your man this Anywhere. weekend. Kelly, so thank you so much. Oh, okay. All right, these are just fan questions, so they're going to be kind of off the wall. Okay. Why are you so anti-glow sticks? They always end up in my face. <laughs> so if you guys would keep the glow sticks more to the other side, I would be fine with it. How has fame changed you for better or worse? I stay in better hotels, I fly more comfortable. That's how I see the, see the difference, but for the rest, I think I'm still the same guy. I put my pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> but when I have them on, I make all the records. <laughs> <laughs> Great. In the venue, like on the grass field, we're only allowed to put a certain amount of weight. We can go over a certain, I mean, on the side of the stage we're fine, on the other side, I mean, we cannot drive any cranes in, we cannot do big structures on the field that weigh over a certain thing because they will damage the grass and they're still playing. Cohen told me that the lights we use in LA, if, if you are too close to them, you, you can actually burn your face. I mean, it's, it's crazy and that is like 50 of them. Again, we want to show how big it is and how massive it is. We need backlighting on the crowd. Otherwise, there is no, otherwise all the stats and stuff, it's all going to be black. You know, you, people, people won't see them. They use so much power that, uh, you know, you can probably uh, have enough for like, like a whole village. <laughs> The cool part will be the depth of the show. I think like mm -hmm. it will be still your show, your look on stage, and it will like the cool part will definitely be like that. It's so much more massive to the back. So cool. Yeah, that's gonna be a good show then. Yeah, it's gonna be a really like, good show. Historical moment. It's the first time in America that we do a, a DJ show in the stadium and it's selling out. Because even like two years ago when I came to LA. All the girls played hip hop. You know what I like about people all coming out for just one sound of music is that it creates a unity in the audience. So on a festival, the, the, the opinions are divided. On a Tiesto show, everybody knows what they're going to get. It's Tiesto music.
I think I'm, I'm a big example for a lot of DJs around the world. That gives a responsibility, so I'm always looking for the things to push the whole DJ culture to another level. There's always things I can improve, and you have to improve because all the other guys are looking at what you do and start copying you and start to come on top of you. So you have to always improve and try to find new sounds. Obviously, I hope my fans uh, enjoy in the booth uh, as much as I do making it. So let's go on a journey together. Here we go again.